Hey guys, KTC here with some 200 zoom action. Trying to, well, I've, I've got my new PC set up now. Um, I need to start on my HUD. Um, so I've just got the 3D basic HUD on at the moment. Um, but I have gone ahead and downloaded Styles Caption on this PC. So uh, that's what these buttons are that weren't there before. And step in some fire. Yeah, step in some fire. I don't know how to say it. Um, Goofcore in the pool. Uh, very good player. So it should be cool to play against him. And it gives me a nice clickbait title. So. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, I haven't been doing any content recently. Bought a bought a new PC because my old one uh, had had it a bit, um, and yeah, I just needed to upgrade the hardware. But yeah, that's all sorted now, so um, to be able to get back to making some content, um, I'm still I, I'm moving flat soon. Um, where I'll hopefully be able to get fiber Wi-Fi, so I might even start some uh, some streams. I think cut off first big blind. We don't get to range, but this one, this is one of the worst hands in our range to see bet. But I roll aggressive, and literally everything will just be mixing. So I'm gonna go ahead and see bet this one on an eighteen. Uh, but I think I'd only see bet that hand like a third of the time. The hearts are just really bad. The sevens are really bad. Um, yeah. Can make this a bit smaller. Uh, range bedding on the left. First cutoff. This isn't making much EV. But I think we do just click call, especially with the Ace of Diamonds. Check and turn. Queen Jack seems like a pretty reasonable hand for barrel. On a 48, I think I will just about barrel this on a 48. And just gonna be using two thirds of check with my range. It's gonna be my only size on the turn here. Link. Without the club, I'll bet this half of the time, and then if I had a club, I'd probably end up betting it more like 80% of the time. Uh, low frequency for the better sixes. Actually, versus size, versus size, I think I should re bet. Yeah. Gonna fold the queen eight. Again, against the size, I think. I think I do mix this into a three bet uh, on this roll. It's close there with the queen jack when I roll 19. Um, but I think, yeah, I won't be doing it around a quarter of the time. Definitely no more than a quarter of the time. That'd be the absolute max. Um, I'm just going to be a pure free but I don't play any flats here. I've seen worse flops. Our range wants to go half or check. On a 59, I think I'm actually going to check this one back. I don't think we want a better range here. I'll probably bet this half a time. But 
that's really nice on a turn like this, he's going to have a lot of overbets. Or like a, a lot of players will, will play overbets in this spot. So it's very nice to have hands like this. Uh, range bang on the left. And just calling on the right. And I think our only size is going to be two thirds on the river. I imagine he's going to check close to range. And we're going to have a lot of ace king in this line, so it's nice to uh, protect that with a hand like this. Yeah, I think two thirds is just going to be my only sizing. Uh, tens, I'm just going to pure bet. Tens no club, yeah. I, I think I'm just pure betting this one. Start to find checks for five pairs. I'm assuming he folds river, yeah. Unfortunate. Could definitely see some bluff jams there. In his range. I'm like ace 10 suited. Wait, does no that doesn't block a straight. Yeah, I guess there's less. If it was if I was an eight, I think um we're more likely to get bluff raised. But it's harder for him to have good blockers to our king X and straights when this is the board because he's meant to fold like ace eight suit pre at a decent frequency. Against 2.15, I think this calls for 200 zoom rate. It's close though. It's not going to make you too much EV either way. And it's going to be close to pure check raising this one. Um, with these suits and definitely on the 40 roll. On a 28, maybe check raising fives. Not doing this all the time with fives, uh, given there's a straight on board. This is really annoying. I think we're meant to find some jams here. On a 39, I'm going to be jamming. It's annoying because we, we get this in like dead a lot of the time. Um, but this guy's aggressive enough to have combo draws and stuff like that. We want to deny equity. Good luck, me. Not happy here, but yeah. Going to have some jams. That's a very good result. And unfortunate to get the uh, fold after turning the straight. I'm playing, no, I will have some blocks here. Um, I think I will split my range, will I? I'm not sure if I would or not. I'm going to range about on the right. No, I think I'll play pure over battle check. And we click on the right now. I think, I think I can raise, I think I raise fold here. We don't get called by worse too often, um, but fish, I've definitely seen fish um, here I side them. Like even after bedding half pot. His size just is terrible. He should play at least pot or check. I personally play slightly more. Slightly more than pot or check. A high frequency backing board for us, but uh, rolling very passive. 
um, and having one of the King X that wants to check the most in our range with the nine. I think King nine might even be the king that wants to check most in our range. Uh, then this can be my only size on the turn. Hmm. I should have no, but that was a sizing mistake. I should be over battle check on the turn. Should I? It's a really interesting one. Yeah, I'm trying to think about sizing there on the turn. Um, I think I might run that one uh, with two thirds pot and one thirty three, and see which is best. Um, so I think two thirds is fine um, on the seven. Rolling bet here. Using two thirds as my new size. Uh, definitely having some free bets with this hand and with our range. Um, three betting probably more when we unlock the diamonds. Uh, on a 60, I'm just going to call kings. Uh, I'm more incentivized to three bet jacks and queens ahead of kings. I still think I'd re raise this hand like four times in 10. I can jack some mix. Check all in turn here with kings. I'm not too happy about this. Not checking over. Praying for a check back. Ah, uh, I might find a nitty fold here. I'll mix this one into over, but it's on a thirty-five. Oh, this is a horrible spot. Yeah, I really don't know what to do. Like, a lot of his bluffs get there. Like, four fives, the only pure bluff he really has left on the river. I don't think he's gonna do this with the nut flush rule that often. I mean, I'll hand box king queen, but I don't see him min raising flop with king queen ever, so I don't think that's in range. Um, unless it's king queen of diamonds. Um, eight seven gets there. Nine eight makes a pair. Like the min raise flop pot turn just seems so strong. Like, um, I know this is all really exploitative logic. Um, And yeah, isn't silver proof. I think when we're playing a, a fish, and this guy's most definitely a fish, like his uh, PFR is half his VPIP. Um, yeah, when, when we're playing a fish like that, I think um, we do try and go more into the exploitative zone. Um, not going to range but this one because of the nine. If the nine was um, like a wheel card, or like a six um, or a seven, I would probably range for this one. Uh, but when the board's a bit more connected like this, I am not going to range back. I'm going to size up to, I think I'd play three quarters of a check. Uh, and this hand's just about the worst hand in our range to bet. Like, uh, yeah, if, if, if we're playing three quarters of a check, which I, I am on this board, um, or maybe pod check. Yeah, I think given the rainbow nature of the board, pod check works a bit better. Yeah, I think I'd be playing pod check on that board. Um, so when we're playing pod check, we have a lot of check backs, and yeah, this hand just doesn't get to bet in that strategy. Uh, sorry, I've been sat out here. I'm going to sit out next big blind because I want my time back. back. Ending a eight small size. Ah, I must have been in the big blind. Yeah, I'm going to reset this one even though I'm deep. Ah, this is very close. I think I do just about click call. This could be a small mistake. 
I don't think it is. I I, I think it's just correct to, to call her. Um against a range bet, which I'm assuming is what its strategy is. And very easy fold on turn. Yeah, when when he goes that size, like this is a range bettable board. Um size he chooses, so I'm I'm assuming it's a range bet. Not opening this on a night seven. There's a tough lineup as well, so you could argue for pure fold. I'll still open it. Um, probably half the time, given my sizing. If I remember right, this guy's about to go. I'm trying to get all my labels and notes back. Um. Apparently it's really easy to transfer your notes across PCs, but I'm too lazy to boot my old one up, <laughs> pretty much. Um, let's handle that occasionally and we, we roll the occasion. Oh, well, not, not occasionally, like you'll bet some of them. But like thin value and protection. And turns a pure check. I think this guy's an okay reg if I remember right. Yeah, I think this guy's pretty decent. I think I have seen him do some spew stuff, but I think he's decent. I think this... I don't think this pure defense versus men at 200 uh, versus mid position. Um, I think I'll mostly defend like two thirds of the time with that hand. Uh, specifically against min rays. That could even be too wide. Uh, definitely not before I'm range betting. And. Gonna be using a small size. Gonna be using two birds or check on a board this connected. I think our hand would definitely bet sometimes, but not sixty percent of the time. So gonna check. I'm gonna fold. Yeah, I think our hand's betting in the kind of forty percent, fifty percent region. Uh, I think betting at sixty percent is probably a touch too aggressive. Yeah, free button on the left. I'm uh, gonna open this. Uh, given there's two fish, and one of them's in the big blind. The sound mixes opens anyway with my size. This hand's also a mix, uh, but it's 50 50. Squeezing tens, that's way too big. I still haven't quite figured out my uh, 
Stars caption sizes. I, I want to size down anyway, because... Uh, do I? No, I don't think I do, because it's, it's not like I'm ever folding, even if I go smaller against this player. So I just want to use a normal size. Again, let's see about this one on a 48. Uh, definitely having some checks here. Uh, Ram line. No, we're so linear, I think we just want to range back. Our squeezing range is so linear, but um, yeah, we just want to range back. We don't have any junk in our range here. Uh, turn, we're definitely going to make some checks. On a 70, I think I will check. If he has a queen or better, he's going to be putting the money in anyway. If not, he's probably close to dead. Maybe he has four outs for a gut shot. Uh, he has occasional flush draws. Well, I, I think like some of the combo draws, like uh, Ace Jack of Hearts, are strong enough to just back call from him. So I'm not too worried about uh, kind of uh, allowing him to realize his equity pretty smoothly. And again, I think if he has a queen or better, he's going to put money in. If not, he's probably mm -hmm. folding, so I, I want to give him a chance to bluff. Hands like ace-king. Hands like ace-jack of clubs. So, on a 54, going to be checking this one. Unfortunate. Yeah, he has nines. I don't think he calls nines no heart, regardless. Um, high frequency four bet here. Kind of sucks being this, this stacked up, but this hand still does just do some four betting. Uh, we size up a bit when we are this deep. So I'm going to make it 23 and a half. Purely a function is tanked up. Checking this on a 75. We aren't see betting too often here. And just folding. I don't think we need to float. Ah, it's not in the replay yet. Hand's still going on. I, I don't think we need to float overs without the uh, back to flush over. I think we can just be selective and uh, only choose to float when we do have the back to flush draw. Uh, this hand mostly calls uh, mm -hmm. against two and a half, but we are mixing some folds at 200 zoom. I believe, I think that hand's 75% uh, cool. I'm really missing my old HUD. Um, just haven't had the time to make a new HUD profile. But uh, yeah, and I force myself to do that someday soon after I get really annoyed. I don't really have samples on anyone on this PC, so um, uh, mixing open here. Yeah, I don't really have samples on anyone yet on this PC, so it's not super important at the moment. But um. I'm definitely going to want to invest the time to to reconfigure my old uh, HUD profile soon. Uh, checking range. Amazing board for imposition. And our hand just has no business bank turn. Uh, this is one of our most common suit, like, suited ace three bets here, but uh, we roll passive. Easy fold on the right. I think this hand does want to stab occasionally. And we roll aggressive. But I don't think I'd be betting this more than a quarter of the time. I, I think I would just stab this 
about one in four times. Again, thin value, some protection. Um, we want to be a little bit mergy on, on these monotone boards. Two thirds will check on this board, and our hounds going to bet close to pure, and we roll aggressive anyway. And I think the turn we just want to pure bet this combo. So we roll three bet here. Yeah, I think this wants to close to pure bet. Using Porter check here. Gonna open this into a recreational and slightly weaker reg. We're also one thirty deep with the reg, uh, which means we get to open a little bit wider. Mixing in some very occasional free bets for twenty percent pop with the sand. When our suits match the board. Again, could be a reasonable-ish hand to stab the turn, but only going to do it at most one in five times, and yeah, roll passive. And I think I'm now going to bet the river, especially on this roll. Just going to bet for two thirds. I definitely check counts like queens here, jacks, some tens on the turn. Mostly queens and jacks though. Um, tens needs a bit much protection. And then I have hands like ace nine, uh, queen nine. So yeah, we have a lot of value to put in this size. Um, having the ten is quite good because the 10 of spades is a hand that's going to get bluffed at a decent frequency uh, by my opponents. And I guess the ace of diamonds is the worst one because we don't block uh, the suit of 9x. Ball betting this one on an aggressive roll and calling this one. Yeah, I think we call a quarter here, but I don't think we call like 35%-ish bet. Roll a one. I think I probably am meant to float this like a small amount of the time. And yeah, I literally roll a one, so maybe I will defend this. Um, and we do not want to stab turn ever with this hand. We just have way too much equity to bet and then get jammed on and probably have to fold because uh, my sizing is going to be probably a third pot here. Uh, just calling with the hearts. Yeah, just going to be checking back. And pretty reasonable hand, I think, to bluff river now. Um, blocking ace queen suited, ace queen off, aces. Uh, rivering the nuts here. I think just unblocking all of his strong hands, I'm going to go for the check raise pure. Unfortunate. And yeah, we're going to bluff this river. I like the size. Uh, folding this on a 54. And nice to get that one through. Our RNG kind of saved us there on the flop. Or, I guess, made us some money there on the flop. Um, I don't think this hand defends very often versus 35%. Um, 
in these positions in a full back pot. But um, I, I think it probably does defend like somewhere in the region of ten to forty percent of the time. Um, I would be guessing at the exact number. Um, I think I'd probably end up defending it twenty percent of the time. Um, again, could be wrong. Uh, this is going to mix occasional three bets. We roll very aggressive. Going to use fifteen percent here with my range. Actually, no, that should not be a range bet. I'm polar from the big blind, so I do not want to be range betting now. If I'm the small blind and I've got a linear range, um, I should go for the exact play I just made. But from the big blind, when we're a lot more polar, I don't think we want to to be range betting now. We have a lot of kind of queen nine suited, jack, jack eight suited, uh, pure checking. Um, yeah, we, we have like a lot of air here in the big blind um, and not quite as much ace -X. Uh So I think my strategy is actually quite flawed here. Uh, yeah, it's not a terrible mistake, but I think it's most certainly a mistake. Uh, just checking down here. Going to range about the left. Um, yeah, I think this is... Yeah, this is a mistake when, when we have like our, our polar uh, big blind uh, three bet range. Um, and I should, I still don't think I should use a size bigger than a third, but I think I should go third pot or check. Um, yeah, I think I should go third pot or check at least. Maybe even half pot check. Yeah, I think I should go half pot check. Um, this is interesting. I think I'm jamming on a nine. I don't like having the seven of hearts, but I roll incredibly aggressive and I like having the jack. Uh, so good luck me. I can jam kind of any set here. Yeah, I think on a nine we just have to put this one in. And nice to get the snap hold. I'll run this one. Um, I'm not sure how bad the seven of hearts is there. Um, it is pretty bad because seven six of hearts is a hand that we definitely don't want to block. It's an interesting spot. I'm not really sure what to do. I think I'm gonna range bet four. Yeah, I'm gonna range bet twenty percent here. Not sure. I, I think he's meant to have like a very significant leading range on this board, in theory. Like I think he's meant to lead like 30, 40% here. Um, I like having the clubs. Mm, I guess I'd much prefer having the hearts. Uh, gonna just call on a very passive roll. On a 13, do we still bet? I think we do still bet. I'm gonna use a quarter pot or check. This is very close. Clubs is better than diamonds. Uh, on a 31, going to be raising this. And I think we just fold. Yeah. I'm not sure about flop. I think turns pretty reasonable on an aggressive roll. Um, here. On a 52. I'm going to go back. 
Um, sorry, I'm skipping between hands so much. Um, when I play two tables, I don't usually have this many interesting spots. It's quite hard to do the commentary on all of them. Not sure about flop here. Um, my guess is 20% range bet isn't optimal, but probably doesn't lose much EV at all. Um, I'd be pretty surprised if it lost more than like 15 hundredths of a big blind. Um, I also think he should just be leading this board so often. Um, yeah, it's just all over his range. He definitely has a set advantage. Uh, we're meant to pure call tens pre and very rarely four bet jacks, uh, whereas he has them pure. He's the only player with sevens. Um, yeah, uh, I think he should be leading a hell of a lot. And then turn, we roll 37, I believe. Uh, yeah, we roll 37. I think this hand would bet on a 37. I'd prefer to have hearts. I would prefer to have a spade on a crop, I guess. Uh, this is getting somewhat pin on the left, but it's definitely uh, Oh, what's going on? Uh, nice, we get the value there. Uh, pretty good hand to bluff here on a 46. I'm going to do it. I like this guy. He, uh, last video he was, oh, after the last video, uh, he was complaining that he's got the, uh, the orange tag and not the red tag. I told him he's got to stack me a couple of times first. So if he stacks me on video, I'll, uh, I'll give him the red tag. <laughs> uh, what was I saying about the Ace King? I guess he got one up on us here. Uh, Tell you what, if he wins another pot that's over a hundred bucks on us this video, well, uh, we'll give him the red tag. <laughs> if I stack him, I'm going to give him the yellow tag though. Um, I really like this hands to check. Um, Want to have some check raises here. Eight seems like a really nice hand to do it with. We block his check back range, unlock his bluff range, and his turn value range. And then I'm going to go huge on the river. On a 66, going to be checking back the queens. Yeah, I'm going to go for this on the river. On a 14. I'd still do some check raising as well with this hand. Um, on the turn now, we want to play 133 check, uh, and our sets and basically our hands that have outs, um, against flushes want to bet pretty often. I'm not going to do it on the 92. I'm not going to pure bluff Queens there, but I would be doing like, um, a good amount of 133 percenting there. Uh, on the turn. Uh, on a 69, we are just going to call Ace King. I think this is a terrible hand to call. Is it? 
Let me think about this one. This pair's good or bad here. These are spots that, like, um, I'm not quite getting in game yet. Like, um, that I need to drill a bit more. Whether having pairs is good or not. I don't think it is. I, I think we want to block, like, nines with diamond. Uh, I'm going to raise this on a 39. I'm not sure. I, I need to have a look on that one. I, I can't remember the heuristic for um, what hands are good to call and which ones aren't. I think we want to block, like, we want to have, like, a nine or a jack. Um, blocking the nines, aces, like, a seven. Um, I, yeah, I think queens isn't a great hand to call. Uh, half pot on the turn here. This can be my only size. Yeah, I can't remember the heuristic for which hands are good to call in these spots. Um, like it, it's, yeah, these are kind of the fine tuning aspects of my game that I need to brush up on. And on the river. With the heart, I think it's a very clear jam. I think this mixes without I roll aggressive, I'm going to do it. This is like a zero EV jam. Our hand's like totally indifferent uh, on the river. If we had uh, heart in our hand, it would be like very plus EV. Uh, without the heart, it's like neutral EV. It'll be mixing. Um, yeah, I roll aggressive, I'm going to go with it. Uh, Finding occasional folds with fives under the gun and rolled very passive. Yeah, this this hand I think at a guess from from the sims I've seen, this will be jamming like between fifty and seventy percent of the time and checking the rest. But I have seen some spots where it, it pure checks. I just don't think um with how irrelevant the other four cards are, apart from the fact that there's three hearts. Uh, that this is a spot it would be pure checking. I think this is like one of those indifferent spots where it just gets mixed. Willing to be wrong on that, it could be a pure check. Um, could be a pure jam. But I, I, I think it's going to be jamming like between 50 and 70. So I think I'll jam before 60. Uh, Eights actually does some cold four bedding here. I think I'd only do it a quarter of the time though. So very close to being a old full bat. Gonna squeeze this one. We're deep with this guy and this guy's short stack, so I think we're very incentivized to actually size down. Um so that we're like we, we don't wanna use a huge size when we're this deep. Uh, against under the gun and then we also don't want to use a big size so that we're pure priced in versus this guy's stack so it's there are like two factors that are incentivizing us to size down there um this isn't an open i i just wasn't uh wasn't quite thinking though but i mean it, it's it's probably losing like an 100th of the big blind opening them and uh, maybe a bit more Maybe a few hundred. Yeah, when we have a three and a four, we block folds, unblock continues, and yeah, we're we're more likely to get a three back. And our hand just can't do anything against but also using my size it's dominated by a lot of um offsuit combos that call in this range gonna be four bedding small with the ace king on a 21. 
like having a spade, I will bet this on the 21. Uh, I'm going to reopen the two thirds. I like to think I'm finding some checks on that flop with uh, aces and kings. How long's this video been? 45 minutes, oh wow. Time has flown. It's been nice to get some run good finally. Uh, been on a little bit of a downswing recently. So yeah, gonna sit out next big blind on both and call it a bit. I think some really interesting spots. It's felt like there's been been action like the whole video with with just the two tables. I've been struggling to keep up. So um, yeah, I think definitely a session to upload. Um, I had a good session earlier that I was going to upload, but I realized I hadn't um, sorted the. I, I had. Um, the wrong resolution on my recording for OBS and it came out horribly uh, but yeah that was another good session which I unfortunately couldn't record it was a losing session however I had lost a couple buy-ins um, so let's see how we did by session so this is the afternoon session so yeah as I said lost a bit earlier I was down to buy-in before I tried to record earlier and then lost another couple uh, even though uh, we weren't down nearly this much in EV. And then, yeah, this is the session we just recorded here, which apparently I can't. Can I show all the lines? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, good session. Uh, I think I played well. Some really interesting spots. Um, I think probably the video of the most interesting spots that I've recorded. Um, it's called Battling Goose Core. Uh, we had some hands against them earlier that were were definitely on the interesting side. Um, obviously, didn't I'd, I can't remember a pot I played against them in this video, but um, yeah, it's cool, cool battling him. He's been playing at two hundred a lot recently. Um, obviously, a very good player. Um, yeah, nice to have the new PC set up. Hopefully, there'll be some more content coming out and uh i don't know why i ramble as long as i do at the end of these but there we go <laughs> catch you guys later i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah see you on the next one bye